this week, we told you how parents in North Fort Worth will be getting warning flashers in their neighborhood at a dangerous school crosswalk. One student was hit there back in December, and there have been several close calls. Fox 4 Street Squad reporter James Rose shows us what Dallas police are doing to crack down on school zone speeders. Speeding in school zones are always a concern, but even more so when drivers are going two to three times the posted speed limit. We're at middle lane 30. We're trying to put the word out, increase visibility, and take some enforcement action to slow the cars down here in the school zones. Did you realize you're in a school zone? This driver says she didn't notice she was in a school zone. No, sir, I did not. Not from the area. Cars go pretty fast through here. Um, at 30 miles per hour, for example, it takes about twice as long to stop than it does at 20, which is what the speed limit is in a school zone. And well, the reason why you're stopped, you're traveling 35 in the school zone, but of course the speed limit is 20. And lane 1, 23. I just didn't realize I hadn't slowed down enough. Dallas police are cracking down here in the 7300 block of Abrams Road because there's two schools here, and they've recently recorded a speed as high as 68 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour school zone. Well, I understand, but this is a particularly bad uh, school zone. Was it, is it time? Yes, sir, it is. Cops say they hear a lot of excuses, but all they're really looking for is compliance. Sorry, you gotta go slow for the kids. Okay, ma'am, this is your driver's licensing copy. Please be careful, okay? In Dallas, James Rose, Fox 4 News Street Squad. As always, if you see a traffic problem, call James Rose, 214-468-7432. The best way to get the Street Squad's attention is to take a little video or maybe some pictures of your traffic problem. Go to About Us, then contact us when you visit us online, myfoxdfw.com. You know, check that. It's fox4news.com. We it, recently changed that. But you know what? If you do go to myfoxdfw, it'll take you over to it for now. All right. So get used to fox4news.com.